Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome back. I know I haven't done a lot of videos in a long time, but I am hopefully going to try to change that in 2013. And I wanted to make a video about the Clarisonic. So I got my Clarisonic about a year ago, and I have nothing but great things to say about it. It is a fantastic cleaning system, and it works phenomenally. Um, and it, I have the Mia one. It has a one speed. It is waterproof. I take it in the shower with me every single day. Um, I'm able, you know, just to really work the system all over, or I'm sorry, my cleanser all over, and it just really helps to make your skincare work six times better and also helps to make your, um, it cleans your skin six times better than a hand, your, you know, manual cleaning. So it works fantastic. This is the charger here. So you just apply it like this and then this, you plug it into the wall and you want to charge it overnight. Um, if you do purchase one, I recommend to take it onto the charger and put it on the charger, leave it for 24 hours so that it takes a full charge and you don't uh, accidentally mess up your Clarisonic or things like that. So uh, this is the Clarisonic brush head and it comes apart. So before I do this, I wanted to tell you a little backstory. I was looking and looking and looking on, on YouTube to try to see if there was any kind of tutorials for this, but I have absolutely not seen any. So I just want to, I don't know, maybe people aren't aware of it or maybe they just, um, you know, I, I just feel like people are maybe, maybe not be aware. So what you can do is take your thumb, you're going to press it here and then you're going to press it out. The, your brush head that detaches so that you can put the smaller head right up here and then you can use this around the nose you can use it around the eyes and things like that so and then it also just you know reattaches you want to make sure you are to disinfect your Clarisonic uh, because you are taking off you know makeup things like that just like you would clean your brushes for your makeup you want to make sure you clean your Clarisonic brush and just to apply it you want to make sure you hear the snap so this is very beneficial. Um, I have, I used to have tons of redness here, but uh, now I just feel that with the Clarisonic, it's really helped to minimize all of that. And I am very ecstatic about that. I don't use concealers and a lot of products to kind of hide the redness. So, and also I believe it helps with my, um, all the serums I'm using. I'm using the Elizabeth Garden serums and my toners and I'm using Elizabeth Garden Pump Perfect um, and then my Sodium PCA I, which I absolutely love but they discontinued it so now I know they're coming out with a new one. I don't know exactly what it is but I would um, recommend to try it, some of these products. So what I would do is I recommend this to you. If you've never used a Clarisonic before, I recommend that maybe you could go to like Sephora or department store, things like that. Ask them to demo, demo it on you um, and then you can actually try it so that you're able to experience it and not be afraid to kind of get the full information from your sales associate or things like that or beauty consultant. So I just recommend you guys go ahead and check out the Clarisonic and thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a great day of love, beauty, and great havoc. Bye guys. See you in the next video.